In this video, we're going to prove the following fact. It says that if A is congruent to B mod N, then the GCD of A and N is the same as the GCD of B and N. Of course, they're getting A and B from here. If you like seeing mathematical proofs like this, I advise you to subscribe to my channel. So let's work with the given. A is congruent to B mod N. That implies that A minus B is a multiple of N. That implies bringing B to the other side that A is B plus QN. Okay. So, let's see. So, this tells us that the GCD of a n, a comma n, is equal to the GCD of any old way of writing a, which is this way, comma n. Now, I need to show that this is equal to the GCD of BN. But I haven't, so let's get rid of this. Okay, now, let's see. Oops, the GCD of BN, the GCD of BN, suppose it equals D. Suppose it equals D. Well, this implies that D divides B and D divides N. Okay. Now, this here implies that D divides QN. And if we deal with these two, that implies that D divides the sum. So I have that D divides this and D divides that. That implies that D is a common multiple of B plus QN and n. I want to show that it's the greatest common multiple. Okay, if d is a common multiple of this, if I get that d is the greatest common, let me not, no, definitely not multiple. I'm so sorry. Divisor. It's the greatest common divisor. So if I can show this, and somewhere I said D equals that, well that equals G of BN, and I showed that this is equal, this here is, this here is equal to G of AN. So then I have it. I have this and this both equaling that. Okay, so what do you do if you have a common divisor and you want to show that it's the greatest common divisor? You choose another divisor. Common divisor. Let's see B another common divisor of B plus Q N and N. Now, there's one last thing I want to say. Okay. It's basically this. Since the GCD of B and N equals D, that implies that there exist integers X and Y such that D 
is equal to bx plus ny. A linear combination of b and n is d. Okay, so this is important. Now, if c is a common divisor, if c is a common divisor of this and that, this implies that C divides B plus QN and C divides N. Now I want C to divide just B. I want C to divide B. Okay, well this one implies that C divides QN. Well, if C divides N, sorry, sorry, so sorry, we will get rid of that. If C divides B plus QN and C divides QN, that implies C divides the difference. But the difference is just B. C divides B. Okay, so we have that C divides N and C divides B. Well, that implies that C divides any linear combination of B and N, like BX plus NY. But that implies that C divides D, because that's D. That implies C is less than or equal to D. That is, if I pick any arbitrary common divisor of B plus QN and N, it is smaller than D, which is up to now a common divisor. So this tells me that the GCD of Let's just be correct of B plus Q, N, and N is D. Now, let's just update something that we had up to now. We had this. Let's see if I can copy it and then bring it down. What we can say here is recall. Because we're recalling it. No magic there. So let me just erase this and I'll say recall. Okay, you could erase. All right, you don't want to erase. We do it another way. Okay, so recall that this equals that. But we just showed that this is equal to D. It is equal to D. But what was D? Ah, D by definition was the GCD of B and N. This is equal to the GCD of B and N. The GCD of A and N and the GCD of BNN, the same. Now that's pretty neat. If you like mathematics like this, where I show proofs all the time, subscribe to my channel, click the like button, let your friends and neighbors know about my channel, and see you guys in the next video. Watch and learn.